hello, hello, and welcome to the show. It's Wrestling with Entertainment, the only audio experience on the web today. The trusted choice for interviewing all your favorite wrestlers every Tuesday and Wednesday, and previewing and reviewing the latest shows from WWE, AEW, New Japan, and everything in between every Saturday on YouTube and Castbox, sponsored by Rogue Energy and Player One Coffee. I am, of course, your host. Coca-Cola James, being accompanied by Tequila Calico, who will be joining us in just a bit. But who is here right now? Mountain Dew Scooter. I hope you all had a great Groundhog's Day. I know I did. Mine was delicious. And it was a good week for Wrestling Wit, as we interviewed um, Gino Rivera on uh, Tuesday and... Um, Pete Rosado on Wednesday. Great interviews. Definitely cannot re recommend those enough. Go in the archives to uh, listen to them. Um, but this upcoming um, Tuesday, we got Emily Locke. Um, fantastic. Uh, another fantastic interview from the Florida region. Um, she just won some um, championship gold. We talk about that. Um, a trip to Puerto Rico trying to get out of Puerto Rico, um, being on our end of things and interviewing people and so much more. And then this upcoming Wednesday, we have Ted Sabin um, from the, the UK, um, contacting partner of Andros J from the So uh, We talk about that um, rivalry with Ricky Two Dumbs. Um, and... Um, a hell of a lot more, including anime, Tokyo Ghoul, um, music, and um, fans that just don't get the emo trash boys. Um, but oh. here is some clips right now. Speaking to Nakoma, um, mm -hmm. she was not happy with how that match ended. So, um, yeah, on her perspective, she would very much like to run it back. <laughs> Listen... It ended like that because Nakoma decided she wanted to beat up Exodus on the outside of the ring. So I had to get them justice. I had to get them justice. And, you know, as your boyfriend's favorite wrestler, like I said, any means necessary to pick up the win. So maybe she needs to, you know, change her little wrestling style to any means necessary. Actually, don't tell her that because she can't take my, my strategy. Of course. <laughs> he was a big Arsenal fan. Okay. So the gun has a... And Arsenal's... Uh, the, the football team, Arsenal, uh, are called the Gunners, and their symbol is like a gun. But I didn't want to get the Arsenal like logo or the Arsenal gun tattooed on me because I don't like football. I don't really watch football. So I just thought of getting an actual like war gun uh, for the double meaning. Don't like football. Are you sure you're British? I don't know, mate. <laughs> I... Hey, hey, hey. What they don't know. What they, they don't have to know anything. I'm not British. I'm joking. I'm, joking. I, I, I'm fooling all of... I, I'm fooling all of UKPW. I'm fooling all of Hustle Wrestling, you know. I'm fooling them all. They think I'm British, but I'm not. <laughs> Alright. And then on um, February 13th, we have Betty Boa. Uh, the 14th, we have Bryson Blade. The, tw uh, the 20th, we have Justin Pacman Xavier. Um, the 21st, we have Ken Warren. And then on February 28th, we have Uncle Mud. So uh, a big... Um, Big lineup for February already when it comes to interviews. Oh. Alright, uh, Scooter, uh, I think we're done putting ourselves on, right? One more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it for the end of the show. A major announcement. Okay. From me. Okay. Well, it was a great day for wrestling because we are wrestling with the news. And uh, we will be getting into all things uh, Royal Rumble um, in our second segment today. Um, but a big 
bit of news that came out um, this week was that CM Punk tore his tricep. Um, anybody that was anybody knows that he was he was scheduled to wrestle Seth Rollins at WrestleMania uh, headline night one. Which kind of see now that that is not happening, it kind of seems like um, everything is up in the air when it comes to the card of WrestleMania. Um, first and foremost, um, talking about CM Punk's torn tricep, like what bad luck, no? Yeah, and you know people are people are gonna say. You know, it, that, you know, it, it was, uh, you know, that, it, that it's punishment for, you know, all the shit that went down in, in AEW, and... That's fucking and terrible. It, it, it's, 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 it is, it's absolutely, uh, it's complete, complete bullshit. Uh, what's not, though, is... Is Punk should have never, never said he was raring to go like he, like he was still, ten, like he was still ten years ago. What do you mean? You remember back in when he did that first interview? He was like, you know, he feels like a brand new, you know. Competitor, he still he feels like he can still go like it was twenty years ago. Um, I don't he, remember that promo. Yeah, he it it was it was more or less. I mean, I'm not using the specific words, but okay. he was saying he's he, he he still had the drive of a rookie, basically. If um, if that makes any sense, and yeah, I gotcha. He's a vi- and unfortunately, Punk became a victim of his own hubris. Uh, I got what you. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, people slow. Older wrestlers, really, if they were known for one style at the start of their career, it's not a bad thing if you have to learn another style. In the twilight of your career, Jesus, that, the, I I will say this: the injury did not have to happen. No, it absolutely didn't. But you know, uh, and this is the same tricep that he tore um, in the match against Max at um, um, at All Out, right? Um, like a year and a half ago. With, I. Why did I think that uh, with Mox it was a leg? No, this is a tricep. The tricep is in the. The arm. Yeah. Yeah. But with Mox and Pung, it was a leg. Was it the arm? Um. It. I. He was limping. Okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, he, he may have just been limping, uh, you know, because he's, he's punk. Uh, okay, no. You're, I, I think you're getting confused with the first injury he had. Which uh, he, he okay, He shattered yes. his ankle. Uh, okay. And then yes, the he, second one, be, right before the all-out um, yeah, roll, yeah. Is he tore yep. his tricep. Punk really Adam Cole that ankle. Well, you could say Adam Cole see him punk nope. his ankle. Nope. <laughs> well, it seems like everything was pretty set in stone like a couple of weeks ago, you know, what was going to be for WrestleMania. And now... Punk's injured. Um, Brock Lesnar went on to play water sports. Um, 
and things are really up in the air. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, The Rock made his triumphant return at, uh, on SmackDown um, to confront Roman Reigns. Um, to the surprise of some. Yeah. And What's at the behest that? of Cody Rhodes, uh, if if, uh, if, you, if you really want to break it down, essentially, Ro uh, Cody referred to Rock as his counsel. Hmm. So there's going to be a press conference um, in on Thursday in in Las Vegas. Why Vegas? I don't know. Um, I mean, and then I mean, unless they're announcing uh, uh, something is going to take place there as well. Maybe um, um, forty-one. I g given. I think they're going to try for forty-one in another country. With, with everything, um, we we don't we don't know what SummerSlam is this year. Um, yeah, but I mean, they did SummerSlam there already. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Well, going back to my original thoughts, um. First and foremost, who does Set wrestle at WrestleMania at this point? If he can, if he's able to wrestle, because his leg is pretty jacked himself. It's it's a very it, it it's a very interesting scenario to think of. Um. Will they? Wait, will it be Rollins going into WrestleMania as champion? I have, I have a funny feeling that it's not, you know, because between now and the night after WrestleMania, Priest is cashing in. I mean, I mean, it it it, it it's gonna it's gonna happen now. Uh, it probably even in probably at elimination chamber. You want to even make it more historic. Um, but that then would be a good um, a good opponent be, for Seth, regardless. Um, it would be a good little you know Easter egg, you know. Rhea is home, makes her triumph, triumphant return home, and Damien Priest upstates his home. Mm, which would be interesting, and it it could so you know, discord for uh, Judgment Day, especially considering that the rumor on the tag title match is Balor and Priest against Austin Truth. Um, yeah, I could see that being... Um... The biggest problem with all of this is there's one more PLE before Mania, and that's the Elimination Chamber. So a lot of this you could say, oh, well, they'll save it for Mania, but... They're going to be in a stadium for the chamber, and they yeah. need matches that are going to fill that arena. And uh, Rhea has said she's very much open to defending the title inside the uh, the chamber. That's not going to happen because we already know one half uh, of the women's main events, right? Which we'll get to later. Um, so, lo logic dictates that uh, 
that there's gonna be a women's elimination chamber to determine Rhea Ripley, and it's m most likely Becky. And as much as much as I'm a fan of Becky, blah, I don't want to see Rhea Becky again. No, um, we've never seen but, Becky Rhea. We would. Oh, God! What am I? You know, it's that. All right, fine. Everybody that looks like Becky. Uh, what the fuck? Are you talking about Gigi Dolan? I don't think she's yeah. special for you, know. I, I I just don't want to see Becky and Rhea. I don't think that. I don't think that's a big a match as everyone would make it out to be. I disagree, uh, but um, continue. It, But, I mean, if we need we, we an opponent for Seth, and we're still we're saying that he's still walking into Mania as the champion. Right. Um, you know, that logic would... With with Cody, you know, going at the Roman, which again, that is now up in the air. So now there's that oh, so many other variables to to factor in. Uh, so it stands to reason somebody from uh, you know, SmackDown would go over there. No, 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 no. You know what? I'll pick the perfect opponent, and I'll pick it right now, and it will be title for title. Going to insert? Yep. Hmm. Since we're, we're, we're apparently not getting Brock Gunther anymore. Yep. I mean, it's still, it could, well, no, probably not. I mean... How many people even knew uh, Brock was even supposed to be in the mumble? <laughs> sure. I mean, people I mean, I mean, probably felt that Braun Baker had a very strong showing at the, uh, at that, the mumble. You know, not that it was copy and paste. Which... If they, if they take a chance... On someone, it might be Braun. Mm. I don't know. And I, I hate saying that. I really do. I but they, they, they are, they are really trying to. Turn Breaker into this amalgamation of his father, his uncle, and Goldberg. And if 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 Goldberg uh, can uh, you know get out of the nursing home for a day, um, do not speak that into existence. We can get a nice no. Braun Breaker. Hold on. We get a nice Braun Breaker Goldberg squash match where Breaker beats him in 86 seconds. No. It is now illegal. <laughs> Everybody's got a price. I so dislike you right now. I don't even like myself right now. Hmm. <gasps> Moving on! <laughs> so, you know, go, just going to the main event. You seem really excited of the potential Rock Roman match. It, well, it's not the match, per se. It's, it, it, it's how they're approaching it. 
because we really thought that it was just going to be, they're going to say it, and that's going to be it. No, they're, they're letting fans fill in the blanks before they say anything. Of course, in three some odd days, we will probably know. Um, the question is, in what order? And I think people are more leaning on my side of things of where we want to see Cody finish the story. Yeah, so I uh, no, I absolutely, I I would I want Cody to finish the story. I want to see that at Mania. That needs to happen at Mania. Otherwise, you know what? Screw the WWE. And you know what? <laughs> You, you've broken my heart for the last fucking time. You've broken every fan's heart for the last fucking time. If that does not happen. <laughs> and not just at WrestleMania. At this WrestleMania. Not, yes. You can't push it to 41. Or you're, you're promising something to the fans in really bad faith. I mean... I really don't want to, you know, bring up Lou again. I mean, even though Lou's been on vacation and hasn't been in the ring for almost five years now. Um, what are you talking about? She's on NXT. That's not the Lou I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, that's Lou. Woohoo! What's new? No. No. Well, Are you thinking of Luca? I think you're right on. Uh, it's really smart on there and to say, well, we're not going to mention anything and see where the fans lie in the next couple of days, the next six days. Is there going to be an outcry? Is there going to be a, you know, uh, essentially, you know, a boycott like there was with Daniel Bryan? Well, people were not having it. You know what I mean? Um, yes. I, you also have to take into account the fact that Rock and Cody shared words that Nobody knows yet. I mean, and I, you know, I've, I've got, I've got Twitter on, you know, you know reload, like, auto reload, um, and it's, it's, I mean, the the whole thing is. Are they going to play it as Rock wanting the title? Well, let me present you with this. Rock, Roman, main event night one. Rock beats Roman. Rock wrestles Cody night two. Cody goes over Rock. No. No. You, you can't... You can't... You can't... You can't finish the story with with a, essentially a brand new villain. So and I don't mean... Villain. Yeah, I don't mean villain is in heel. It's just you can't... You know... This isn't, you know, a King the Conqueror thing where you can... You know, pull a new villain from the roster... You know, of villains. Um, and I don't. I I think they would. I think they would put Roman over Rock because then at least you know he still got you know he's still you know the Samoan heavyweight champion of the world. Which, 
which I would love to see if Roman goes into a downward spiral and starts going insane. <laughs> and he start, he's palling around with our truth. Oh my god. <laughs> Trips, you're listening? I know you are. You bugged every fan's phone, podcasted, forum, subreddit. We know you're listening in. That one, the first one's free. <laughs> but, it's, yeah, it's... It's really confusing to speculate at this point, honestly. Yeah, but, 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 but you know what? It's exciting. It, to, to not know... In because in professional wrestling, you know, we're you know we're smart motherfuckers. We know what's going on. <laughs> and when you when you can really confuse two people like you and I, they're doing something right. Or they're just as confused as we are at this point. That, that that's also a possibility. I mean, they might just be. Uh, Confused uh, as uh, as I was um, when I uh, when I found out that uh, Boy George was actually a man. Um, well, something else that has been, uh, made me confused WWE was the pop that Trick Williams got on SmackDown last week. Um, I don't know if you saw it, uh, Scudo, but. Ooh. What truck? Truck got a pop. Um, you know, uh, it wasn't the, uh, the type of pop of a CM Punk or a Cody, but it was definitely a bigger pop than anything any other NXT wrestlers had on the main roster up to this point. Is what? Trick- can Trick Williams maybe surpass even Carmelo in popularity if they do decide to put him on the main roster? Um, cool. uh, Carmelo and Trick were uh, both uh, on uh, SmackDown. They're both uh, being called up. Um... You know, given that, you know, and I really didn't think we were actually going to talk about this, um, you know, Vengeance Day is already happening, um, and everybody down, everybody down there wants, wants to see him win, you know, the NXT Championship. Is he going for the championship? Uh, I... Yes, uh, it's him and uh, Ilya. Hmm. Um, I mean, that doesn't no, necessarily a... make sense if they're... Oh, no, no, wait, no, I'm sorry. It's t- Yep, it is tomorrow, Sunday. It is the 4th. I keep forgetting that thought, they do those on Sunday. For a second, though, it sounded like there was a wrestler named Tomorrow oh. that was wrestling oh. Dragon Off. Oh, uh... Not to mention, okay, Trick is wrestling twice on Sunday uh, for the Dusty Classic and the NXT Championship. Yeah. Um, and I mean, they're and they're up against Braun Breaker, another uh, Raw signee. I have to go over that and look at that because I actually tuned in. Literally, as he was closing the contract binder and telling Adam Pierce, "We'll see you Monday." I mean, and then you know, and Adam Pierce, of course, you know, Brad uh, to Nick Aldis, and now I'm kind of interested in seeing uh, <laughs> Adam Pierce and Nick Aldis in a you know NWA rules match. Um, <laughs> Oh, man, like I don't, I don't want Trick to get burnt out so quickly 
given that he's got a lot. The, the, the question is, is a Carmelo heel turn coming? Uh, because he's looking against Carmelo, but he works better here. Yeah. Yes, and they've made him into a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> uh, there, there's, there's no other way to say it. Uh, you know, don't miss Melo. Would never be doing any of this shit. <laughs> He'd be fucking cool, calm, and collected. Instead, you know, uh, Carmelo is the ex-wife. Carmelo, his last name might as well be Soprano. Uh, Carmelo Soprano? Yeah. I mean, because Tony's wife was Carmela Soprano and Corey Graves, and never mind. Um, but then who knows? Maybe, um, <laughs> maybe Booker will get involved and just keep on shouting during, you know, tricks the music. Like, I, oh, I, I really want to see Trick thrive because Trick comes from my neck of the woods. Does he know? Yeah, he's a, he, he got his uh, start in, in uh, NYC. Okay. Um, I Tequila. We are being joined by Tequila Calico. Oh, I have the right link. There we go. <laughs> We're well, talking about um, the returns and call ups of WWE in the last week. Um, I, we were just talking about Chip, uh, Chick Williams maybe surpassing Carmelo in popularity at this point. Your thoughts? He got a catchy song. Whoop that. And even though the song, you know, <laughs> yeah. whoop, whoop that trick. <laughs> It's literally a, a hip hop chant. It's a whip hip hop anthem in Memphis. They play that at basketball game. That not not too far fetched. Well, keeping on returns, Andrade and Trinity have made their returns at the Rumble. Uh, Andrade will be um, a part of the Raw roster, and I believe Trinity will be a part of the SmackDown roster. Yes. Um, yes. I'm glad that they decided to put um, Andrade on Raw rather than in the telenovela that is SmackDown at this point. So, um, kudos to them. Mm, Telemundo? <laughs> Telemundo, telenovela, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, T- tele- tele- telegram, telephone, telegreek. So that just leaves us with, um, I mean, I just wonder where, what, what are they actually going to do with Andrade at this point? That's your uh, excuse to say things. Okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Breaker has not made his decision. That's what I had seen uh, when he closed the binder. He'll make his decision uh, on Raw. Okay. What on Brother? Is he going to do something on Raw, or is he just um, sitting in catering at this point? I, I mean, they put they put Electra Lopez back with Santos, which was a brilliant move, honestly. Yes, and uh, I, Zelina Vega should have never been uh, part of the heel faction. When it started, um, you gotta, you gotta, they gotta take a, a bigger chance on Andrade. They, I mean, they got you know, with everybody over on SmackDown, you know, Andrade is essentially 
you know, it, the big issues, on, so to speak, because he's, you know, he's not L, he's not LWO, which is all over uh, uh, SmackDown. So give them, make them take a chance, take a chance on Andrade, really build him up, like. They, they, they just, I can't, I mean, I can't even uh, say anything else about it. I mean, they just have to take a chance on him. What's say you, Felipe? I mean, they, all of these people just need to get back to confidence in the sense of what they were in NFT as far as like the people who were there. Like, and Andrade's case, it was never about LWO or anything of that sort. It was just him being like the man. It was just his bravado and his charisma and his swag more so than any. So let him get a chance to gain that again, you know? And don't put him with the LWO storyline. Because if you put them there, it's just basically you're just saying all of them are alike. So, so give him that, like what Scooter said, give him that opportunity to show he's the man. And keep in mind, he's got Charlotte, so they could kind of play the real life thing here. So it it's not like that's out of the realm. I mean, you're not wrong, but doesn't that kind of um, undermine him? Because he would not be the biggest star in that scenario. It would be Charlotte and then Andrade, no? But it's not like Charlotte can do anything for six months. Oh, so you're saying like... Other than hype him up. Yeah. Gives her a little chance to be on screen. That would absolutely not... Kind of be... yeah, I mean, be be heelish, help them win matches, like couple you love to hate. I mean, uh, yeah, I could see them, you know, using Charlotte in a you know, in an interview capacity with Andrade. That would actually be great. I do like that idea. But, I mean, uh, and then and then you know, make them feud with. Uh, Bianca and, and Tez, and then Miz and Maurice. And then now let's not get that far. And then, <laughs> and, and, and then and then uh, our truth and JD McDonough. Uh, there you go. And then you might as well just bring in Cena and Nikki Bella at this point. I mean, Natalia and Tyson Kidd, and Edge and Beth Phoenix. When he's no, Matt yeah. Hardy and Reba Sky. <laughs> First of all, Rebby, and second of all, Rebby Sky is my wife. Thank you. I have the picture to prove it. Uh, and uh, hey. third of all, I, th- I believe you mean Adam Copeland and Madam Copeland. Hmm. <laughs> well, Might as well bring in Evil so it could be EO and Evil. EO and Evil. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, the- that brings us to Trinity, um, Naomi. Um, can she come back to glory where she's, you know, on top of the food chain again? Or is he just going to be that middle card and just kind of be happy to be employed at this point? Um, Coleco? A stable hand? Shit. And SmackDown needed need it because God knows it's just been a bunch of <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. <laughs> Real is the smackdown <laughs> 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 You're breaking brilliant, up. brilliant, brilliant. What very elocute, elocute. From what I have, what I was able to gather from Coleco, 
you know, and he's not wrong when he says that she's a staple fan. She's a you can rely on her to have a good match. But that being said, doesn't that put her in the Nile uh, in the um, the Natalia role, but on SmackDown? I believe what he said was Miss Lippy's car is green, and Billy likes to drink soda. No. <laughs> Oh, because my kid's reading his book. Yeah, you're... <laughs> no, no, because we didn't understand you cut out so much. So, he, he's doing story time. My apologies, America. I got a kid that's got homework on a... Uh, I mean, yeah, got a kid. Anyway, uh... What I was saying was was that, yeah, she's a stable hand and they need more women on SmackDown because it's just Rhea Ripley and then everyone else. And Rhea's on Raw more than she is on SmackDown, even though she's the SmackDown Women's Champion. So, so was there, I believe there was a yeet in there, James? A, a what? A yeet? Yeet? A yeet. I, thought, I, thought I want a yeet, yeet, or a yeeter in SmackDown. Right when he cut out, yep. there was a e, and it was yep. could have been some other why syllable word. Yeah, I don't know. What? Um, what say you? The year, like, man, kalika has got that Australian internet. <laughs> what about you? Am I bad? I mean, it's pretty bad. We can we're getting on every other word yeah. at this point. I'm not sure James, if you can hear us. Oh, James, God. get the parrot! Oh, oh. I mean... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're completely losing him. Scooter, um... Yeah. Your thoughts on uh, Naomi. Uh, Nate, it... Very, but, Will you uh, stop it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, um, well, well, I wouldn't mind if they, um, if they gave, uh, Naomi a talk show and just call it Naomi's Bakery. Because, God damn. Ooh. I'm, I'm, I... I don't know if that if that was done on purpose. Do you remember that TikTok trend where there were those uh, those leggings that made anybody's ass look like um, you know you got ass implants? Okay. I mean, she, she could you know she could have a she could actually win a twerking contest against Katie Forbes. Mm -hmm. Something. Yep. Um. Oh man. Um. Uh, they're gonna stay. They're gonna stick Naomi with somebody. And considering that her uh, her husband um, now looks like one of the biggest pussies on SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I said the secret boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I, lo I love Jimmy. I love what he's doing. What this does make him look... <laughs> it does make him look like he's, uh... He's got a, he's got a very big vagina. <sighs> well, let's move on to rumor in the window when it comes to people who are coming back to WWE. Uh. Oh, I thought, oh, God, I thought, since you thought you were about to say, since I mentioned vagina, let's talk about your, no, not going to say it. <laughs> she did challenge Bianca Belair to a match uh, in an interview stating that if she wants to come over and um, fight, um, that she's open to it. Um. Mm -hmm. 
How cold in hell does it have to be for Bianca Belair to come to TNA to uh, wrestle? It, it, you know, it, they've, I'm pretty sure they've had a match. They just didn't have the fact that Naomi had left behind it. Um, no, Bianca and Jordan Grace. Oh. Oh. I, I, I didn't realize you were actually thinking, saying, oh, okay, let's talk about Jordan Grace. Um, because yes. <laughs> I said, nope, not, I said, nope, not gonna say it. Not gonna talk about her gigantic clip. Oh, shit. Will you stop Damn it. You made me do that. Um, you have a yeah, choice, I, 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 I would love, uh, I, I would love to see more of Jordan Grace as a wrestler <laughs> in the ring representing TNA, the wrestling promotion. What? Who am I pointing at? Jesus. This is audio <laughs> only. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I know. God. Oh, I wish I was still on drugs. Um. Oh my god. Kaliko, <laughs> could you please salvage some of the segment? Jesus, I'm like, what was going down right there? I mean, I just had, I'm just glad you guys can hear me. Uh, yes. I'm just, you know. Yes. What? Let me, let me. You are what? Fine. Yeah. So, so where were we before we went off that rail? Jordan Grace versus Bianca Belair. Can it happen? Will it happen? How cold in hell does it have to be for it to happen? Um, can it happen? Yes. Will it happen? No. How likely as far as cold in hell for it to happen? Uh, as long as she's the TNA champion, I'm gonna go me joining the NBA right now. That's how close it is. Well, not NBA, but and that's not. I just think, I, I just think it's just more like because it's a lose. I mean, it's a lose lose. Because even though Jordan, because Bianca wins, I mean, what does she gain by winning? Right. Being Jordan, Jordan got more to gain by winning than Bianca does. I mean, it will be a banger of a match. I don't think anybody will be my dad. See, that uh, what they should do is do it as a once-off, and then you get you get if if Jordan is still the Knockouts champion, you get the title off her, then you bring her in. To the yeah to the WWE on a you know more regular basis, and then you make it about her working her way back to getting that rematch with Bianca. But that would mean you know a contract would be in place for um, Jordan Grace. Do you see uh, WWE is... being interested in in signing Jordan? There's a working agreement between TNA and WWE in place. Um, remember when uh, TNA actually changed their uh, event to, it's from pay-per-views to premium live events? But yeah, that's a, that's a part that's part of a working agreement. Hmm. Um, so uh, you know neither company has to exercise it, but they can if they want to. Um, that's what I mean. That's why they got Jordan in the first place, so uh, Naomi could finish up the tapings. Right. Um, but there's there's going to be. You, we're gonna. We are going to see more. You know. You know, stuff about you know, 
somebody having to walk through a door. That's just fucking silly. Right. Shot, shots fired, Tony. Your move, Christian Cage match. Uh, uh, I mean, Jordan did pick uh, the right time to want to be in the WWE. You know, as opposed to, you know, the days they brought in panties matches and Um, we, me and Calico were speculating who might be the new commentator for, uh, Raw or SmackDown. And, uh, the one name that did not come up last week was who eventually did do the replacing, and that is Pat McAfee. Um, happy that he's, uh, back on board doing commentary. Um, Calico? So basically, they just took the SmackDown crew and put them on Raw. Mm -hmm. The the before before they did the flip because McAfee went on College Game Day. I it makes sense for him to be on Raw because if he's still doing College Game Day Saturday, he can still kind of flip it to Monday by having to be there Friday because he couldn't do Fridays because pre-production for college football on Saturday. We should have got Nick Saban to be commentator. Oh God no. <laughs> Nick Saban Nick I mean, don't get me wrong, he was he's out here golfing with fifty cent. So I mean he got the street cred, but nah. I think you thought the NFL would some NFL team would pay him big money to come coach right? <laughs> <sighs> But that's not what we talked about here on Wrestling Grip. This is not football with it's wrestling with. Um, and speaking of wrestling with, um, Malachi Black and uh, Don't Call Me Buddy Pal, Buddy Matthews. Um, it's rumored in the window when their contracts come up with um, AEW that they will be moving back to WWE. Um. Is there room for Malachi and Buddy in WWE at this point, or would they just get lost in the shuffle like they usually did? Like they are right now, in literally a different company. Coleco? I mean, their wives are there, so that's basically their place. I mean, they can I mean, come they're to just... AEW. <laughs> but, what I'm right? saying is, is that I mean, there's room. I mean, Malachi, when he was there, he was a, a dude, man. He was a stud. So, and like he was no punk. I mean, Buddy might have some work to do. But, yeah, like changing his name, but, first of all. You, you can't have pretty a much. Name, Buddy. Unless you team him with Kyle. But. Yeah. But, but I mean, he'll get. He'll get. I mean, Malachi Black would get his name back, right? Alistair. He'll be Alistair. You know what? Buddy, Make him Tommy. Buddy won't end be again. Buddy. Make him Tommy End again, and have him replace. Uh, well, uh, because. With him, you have the the, the almost conflicting with uh, Carrie and Cross. Well, he'll come, come back as the. Oh, continue, Kalito. He'll come back as the John Smith. He'll come back as the John Smith to Zelina Vegas Pocahontas. <laughs> and he's gonna maybe rescue her from LWA. He, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna turn her into a fourteen year old and kill everyone. <laughs> history is dark, people. Look it up. Yeah, history is dark. Terrible. I could make the argument that you could literally replace Malachi with um Carrion. That's and that's what I what was getting at. It would yep. actually be a lot better from a wise. Because he wouldn't have to say anything. 
Pretty and much. I'm not even saying, you know, take uh, carry an M shirt, a uh, scarlet, scarlet, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just replace carry him and don't even explain it. Just say Malachi is not here. Like, I mean, it, it it's like they're, they're they're leaning heavy into the five person stable, it's like it was the olden days. Like it was the early eighties of the NWA, and how every night there was war games. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall see. Well, we know. Uh, we know Dominic <laughs> has a rivalry to have if Buddy comes back. So. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yes, Aaliyah uh, Matthews. Um, no. And Rio Matthews. Oh, uh, oh God, did he, um, oh. did, did, did you guys talk about, um, a new GM last week? What new GM? The youngest GM in WWE history. Oh, yeah. Ava. Uh, Ava the, the Rock. You mean you mean you mean uh the rock rocket 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 daughter? Yep. Okay, moving on. Uh, we can't. We, we. I mean, she's doing okay. Yeah. No. Uh, she's not that bad. Going on to not so great things. The allegations against Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis. Are you place. really? <laughs> um, there was a um, um, a response from the Bella Twins, um, and it's really short, so I'll just read it in full. Oh, we are shocked and disheartened with the with the recent allegations against members of the WWE. It has been a lot to process since we found out this past week, just as you all did. This is something we we don't stand for or condone from anyone, no matter who they are. We want all women to feel safe and supported in the workplace and in their everyday lives. Talk about a non-answer answer. Uh, yeah. And if, uh, if uh, John Laurinaitis wants to keep his marriage, he's gonna have to win at Barmageddon. Oh. It's like a hockey tom shotgun with him. Um, yeah, no mentioning of any of the allegations or how they're directly connected to any of this. Um, and John Laurinaitis, um, legal representative, said that John Laurinaitis is not, um, a victimizer, but a victim himself. Because I'm sure that um, he was saying, no, don't make me cheat on my wife, Vince. Take People it, Vince. power. People power. Ugh. People power. He's like, yeah, John, peep those holes. Ah. Oh, my God. I'll take it on Saturday. Oh, <laughs> People power. You know. Oh. Did I handcuff match? <laughs> Which Vince mm. has a heart attack, and that poor girl is lost because they can't get the key. Oh, wait, hold on. That's actually the premise of a Stephen King novel called Gerald's Game. Well, I mean, this is all pretty damaging stuff, as we all, well, I didn't, but Coleco read all 66 pages. Um, yeah, federal, federal crime, man. If, if Vince had to choose between this and steroids, what would he choose? Right. And uh, as a lot of people, uh, if maybe you heard it, maybe you didn't, uh, more people are coming out and telling those stories involving Vince McMahon. Um, some former wrestlers... Um, uh, some former employees got brought from the spa 
Oh. Uh, and then uh, e uh, couple uh, one uh, from one from uh, Endeavor or is it a TKO? Uh, saying Vince 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 is gone and he ain't ever coming back. From what? And from what I heard, um, uh, Ari Emanuel, you know, obviously the head of TKO, um, his daughter actually worked in WWE before, um, yeah. the Mortal. Yeah. And he apparently took things very personally. So, yeah, Vince is not mm -hmm. yep. going to be nowhere near this company ever again. Um, yeah, like you said, it's, um, it's, it's now become federal rather than, yep. you know, criminal. See, un unfortunately, uh, th the thing about this is that if Vince does any jail time, uh, it's, it, it's gonna be, uh, the, well, what, what, what do they call that? What do they call it? What are they called? Prisons for rich people. Um, oh, you talking about the blue collar, the little white, the white collar retreat? White collar, yes, white collar crime and the yeah, other whole thing. Something farm. Um, but you know. usually that's like for embezzling, and it's because that's the thing. I don't think he he would have to go do hard time because it's more sex offense crimes than white collar crimes. I mean, honestly, you know. I, I could just imagine him uh, being um, cellmates with Bill Cosby. No, nope, well, he ain't going to the he ain't going to the retreat then. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a sitcom waiting to happen. I could see him making toilet wine. Who knows? He got the recipe from Dominic. Did you say toilet wine? <laughs> toilet wine. Yeah. Who knows? As in, oh, gosh. Yes. You, you, you make it in Pruno San Martino. Coleco, uh, do you have any comments on this? Because I know that, you know, you read all of it. You're, you've, been being, you've been up to date with everything. Weird. <laughs> is it weird that I'm reading it, or is it weird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it's weird that you can read. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very weird that I can read. Uh, uh, <clears throat> reading, I, I just urge people to read it because it's 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 one of those things where it's like, yeah, if, oh, no. if if this was if this was anyone else, they would have been under the rock by now. And the funny thing is, is that. I think they're trying to fight to make the NDAs, um, basically trying to break up the NDA because technically he was is under the pretense of intimidation, but then there's a there's this thing where NDAs as far as a loophole because if he was using company money to in which he was, as as articles have found out, that he was using company money to pay hush money for said NDAs, then they're null and void because the WWE did not know about it. Yeah, the, the, or the, the board. In a, in in a, in a federal crime case, they would be null and void regardless. Exactly. Uh, I mean, no, I'm just talking about as far as others in w NDAs. Yeah. As far as the other ones that were allegedly paid off. So now this is where the the hole gets deeper for him, in a sense. Yes. Right. Yeah, you know, and the fact that you know Linda hasn't even left him this time. Um I mean she you know. knew. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, I've got uh you know, I've got a kind of I got a couple of lawyers in my family, maybe, maybe I will get their opinion on this, and may, maybe uh, we can actually have a serious legal discussion uh, next week. Oh yeah, because this is this case is interesting. It's in. Yeah, it's in. I'm just waiting on this case. 
if it ever becomes like on like court TV. I think or, I would watch on, it. Uh, got them. <laughs> or on uh, or on A and E, like court. TV. Right. My new like, favorite. I would. Show. I, I would be all over this. I wonder if this would be like how they did the Johnny Depp uh, yeah. Amber Heard case where I could watch it like nonstop. Yeah. Because he's going to have to announce it and come to court. He's got to come to court. So. One thing what that I found interesting was, um, and um, Eric Bischoff brought this uh, up. Can Vince McMahon get Ben Wad, where we erase yeah. him from history? No. No. Because they, he's, they, too, they, he's too ingrained in the history of pro wrestling. Yeah, they, they, they can't erase him, but they don't ever have to talk about him again. Mm-hmm. That's, ba- that's basically it. The same, the same way you can't erase the the great matches Benoit had. It's one of those things where it's we have to hold two thoughts at once. Yeah. yeah. And and is yes, you can say, oh my god, this guy has um, done great things for the company. He has done a lot, and he's contributed a lot. And we can also say that he's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when he wears that piece of shit on his lip. Oh. Oh my God! I can't believe I can't believe I waited this long to say it. Uh, yeah, I cut off all my hair. Out of solidarity for um. For 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 nobody. Uh. <laughs> So you look, uh, now you now, look now, like a homeless person to a homeless like, person without hair. No, I went looking like a homeless person to a homeless Steve Austin. There you go. I think uh, Clico put it the best. There's yeah. no denying Vince McMahon's contributions to pro wrestling. A, a majority of it is Vince McMahon because he's wrestling as we know it is the way it is because of him. Um, you can't necessarily erase any of that, um, but it doesn't change the fact that you know he's a garbage human being. He just got Jericho. Yeah, it, it, I mean, but honestly, he it's his himself, like. It's funny, me and um, me and James were saying it last week. I told him Pride got the best of him. Pride killed him because he he could have kept his ass out the first time. But what he wanted to do, strong arm his ass back in like succession. And now look what happened. Another victim of his own hubris. Yes. I mean, if we're, if we're getting mm-hmm. technical about this, payment plan was his undoing. If he just, you know, paid the money that he said he would, he wouldn't have, no, no. we wouldn't have been here. But see, we see, see that that's the thing about that's the thing about blackmail, James. It works once. <laughs> You're gonna want to try it again. So don't exactly ever, don't ever fucking blackmail anyone, or you might get Steve Blackman to come beat you up and arrest you, or. Even worse, you may have to confront Steven Seagal, and he's going to snatch you every motherfucker birthday. And with that, that will conclude the um, the news portion of the show. And now a quick word from our sponsors. So, Rogue Energy, the only gaming drink company in the world with four unique product lines to suit your task at hand, whether it be juices, shakes, smoothies, and everything else in between their low calorie no sugar energy formula is the perfect alternative to sugar filled canned energy drinks and sodas their extreme formula provides the most energy focus and sports performance possible 
Their hydration line offers focus, ingredients without the added caffeine. Drink it anytime. You're thirsty. And their shake formula is so delicious. Who doesn't love a cookies and cream, zero-calorie energy milkshake? First and foremost, they've designed every rogue product line with performance and effectiveness in mind. It is critical that you look at the nutrition panels of drinks when comparing options. There are countless off-brands out there that are presenting low-quality, poorly dosed formulas that amount to expensive caffeine water. Every formula they produce is designed with optimal levels of high-quality ingredients. Additionally, you won't find a powdered gaming drink brand that dissolves better. No need to have chalky textures in your drink. Their taste profiles are unmatched, specifically designed for gamers, athletes, students, entrepreneurs, people with hectic schedules, individuals with low energy, podcasters who can't shut up, people who are health conscious, and so much more. Great as both a pre-workout and as a coffee energy drink replacement. Specifically designed every Rogue product line to be the best gaming drink on the planet. Rogue energy, more energy, more focus, more wins. Use promo code Wrestling E for ten percent off your next purchase. And we are wrestling with WWE Royal Rumble review. It took place um, last Saturday in Saint uh, Saint Petersburg, Florida, at Tropicana Field. The attendance was uh. 48,000 uh, and 44. Um, I'm not sure if it was a sellout, but I mean, 48,000 is. Um, actually, no, it was an attendance record. The most. Yeah. Like, yeah. The most uh. of anything that's ever been in there. So, um, yeah, good business for WWE. I mean, this is the Tampa Bay. It's the Tampa Bay. It's the Tampa Bay Rays. Ain't nobody going in them game. <laughs> so you're saying it wasn't a, a, a hard. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, Tampa Bay Rays. I mean, I mean, you're right. Nobody would be going to these games in January. Um. <laughs> I mean, it be the last year, uh, the last time they the last time they were in Tropicana Field. It beat that attendance by forty-eight thousand and forty-four. So. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I still laugh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, uh, just just wait until we talk about um uh, next uh where AEW is next week or this week. Well, we're not talking about AEW. Yeah, well, after this, after this, I'm making that damn joke. I'm making the same damn joke that I made in that tweet, and I'm gonna say it on the air, and I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Just say the, just say the joke now, so we can move on. All right, AEW, way to go on be on uh, showing up in Gas South Arena. I'm sure you broke new wind there. Can't wait for collision in Fart Joke Stadium. <laughs> oh Lord! I can't remember what I was gonna say, but I still laughed. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Help us all! Help, help us all! Oh, Welcome back. God, you know, you know what? I'm not even high. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Royal Rumble. Okay, yes, let's move on. It was uh the Royal Rumble. <laughs> it was probably the, the Royal Rumble with the least amount of matches, but. It was still pretty solid, even though a lot of it was pretty predictable. Um, you know, watchable, good quality entertainment. Um, what say you, Scooter? Ah, oh, my God. Okay, that that opening rumble. Oh, that that was that was goosebumps. There are th very few matches in wrestling history have given me goosebumps. And, I mean, I, and I hate to say this because you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I meant, you know, I, I compare skill 
not gender. This is the first women's match that that we really like. It 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 meant something to me hmm. on more than just a wrestling level. What say you, Kaliko? Less matches, but <clears throat> solid. Which, I mean, that's the Triple H formula. Like, put the matches that matter on there, right? right. Um, and let those things tell the story themselves. Um, I will say this is the first time I think the both this is the first time where both Royal Rumbles were kind of um even though we kind of had an eye clue who could have won but it was a lot less predictable than as far as who was going to win uh for both Rumbles to be quite honest although I kind of figured it was going to be Bailey pat myself on the back right there but overall it was a good Royal Rumble well, let's get into it um, the Dirty Women Royal Rumble match to determine um, the main event for WrestleMania Extra Large. Um, Billy won by uh, a last eliminating Liv Morgan in one hour, five minutes. Billy came in at um, number three, lasted one hour and three minutes and three seconds with seven eliminations. Um, Last person to win from number three? Um, For the women's? Rhea Ripley. Rhea was number one. Oh, no, Rhea Ripley was one last year. Yeah. She was one. I'm trying to think. I know that somebody won from number three, but I can't remember who it was. Well, I said he wanted to party with 18 year old girls. No, it's not Vince. <laughs> Part of years ago. No, no uh, I didn't say 18 years ago. 18-year-old <laughs> girls. Rick Flair. Thank you. There you go. Oh, yeah, Rick. Rick Flair won from three? Yep. He was three? Yep. Holy shit. For some reason, I thought the way he came in, it didn't seem like he was three. <laughs> Yeah, it's three. Jesus Christ! The following year, in one of the worst rumbles ever, after '95, he was number one. <laughs> well, going back to the women's Royal Rumble, honestly, maybe for the first time in the women's Royal Rumble history. I preferred the women's rumble to the men's. There was, yeah, there wasn't, you know, legends, but the women that they did have was good and significant. And while we all knew who was going to win, you could see a lot of these girls actually winning. I mean, obviously, nobody saw Jordan Grace coming into this match. Um... Scooter Maybe. called Jade Cargill, yeah. and yes. my God, what a, a reaction she got. Um, I think Von Wagner saw uh, Jordan, was the only one who could see Jordan Grace coming to the ring. Don't you mean his forehead, though? No, I, I'll let you all work that out. Um, I'm mm. a little biased. I was glad to see Alba Fire in the, in the uh, rumble. Uh, Chelsea Green took a hell of a beating. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! That. Oof. And, Jesus. Uh, yeah, and uh, I called Liv Morgan, and obviously Liv made it literally to the very last. Um, so, yeah, all around. I really enjoyed this match. Um, Scooter? All right. Uh, well, which one of us is using the brain cell next? Um, 
I, I honestly I forgot Alba Fire even existed. Um until uh I saw her come out. Um Oh oh man. Um like you know I can't yeah I, I can't believe I called Tiffany Stratton. Um There's only there's only one thing about this rumble that's bugging me, and it doesn't have to do with anyone's performance. Okay. It has to do with a with reaction to someone's performance and how. Everybody piled on to Maxine Dupree. That that was absolutely abhorrent and disgusting. Saying, "Oh, uh, you, uh, you you gotta fire her. You gotta." Oh, like it's a battle royal. I mean. Battle Royals are one of the few matches where it's okay to make a mistake as long as it's not some sort of dumb thing where you can't go over the top and then all of a sudden, suddenly, you're pulling yourself over the top. She had a... a de she had a decent performance... For somebody who's barely had any matches. Very true. And, I mean, everybody, everybody brought some, some entertaining bit into this match. That, you know, e even the people that we would have considered filler. They, they, they stepped up. They brought it. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think uh, Chelsea Green is one of the underrated MVPs of this <laughs> rumble. I want to know who thought of that. I don't know if I'm proud of it, but Sigmund could stack also. <laughs> it's like, I know, I had so many Chelsea sandwiches. And then, uh, that's not discounting uh, the one surprise of the Women's Royal Rumble, and that was the entrance of our troop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. The best thing ever. Uh, yeah. Oh god, I got it. Another, I got another joke. I so just didn't want, don't want to discount Bailey winning because, you know, she obviously deserves it. Very rewarding. But our troop winning the Women's Royal Rumble to challenge Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship at Mania, ultimately betraying the Judgment Day, that, that shit writes itself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does. If you could, you know, if it wasn't, you know, if the Royal Rumble didn't matter so much, yes. Um, <laughs> but the fact that, God damn it, Kaliko, come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, the fact that our truth says, "Oh, you, you mean, you mean." You mean to tell me that there was a woman in there? And I'm like, uh, maybe not Nyla Rose. Will you stop it? I'm going to get in so much trouble, and I don't care. Coleco, your thoughts on the Royal Rumble. I'm not Rose. I mean, that that part was funny, though, because he walked in and he was like, where are all the men at? <laughs> Hey, I, hey, I could have said, "Oh, where was, uh, where was 
fucked yourself, Shaw. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Who's coming with me? Oh, oh gosh. But what made it funny, though, was when that, like, did you see the video of them after when they went backstage? I don't think so, no. No. No, when, when Truth and, oh, and oh, Pierce uh, went backstage, and, and, that and, was uh, funny. Because he was like, <laughs> what'd you tell me last night? He's like, I didn't tell you anything last night. <laughs> he was like, and then he was like, and where's your hair? And he's like, that's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, Mysterio? And then he was like, I need a drink. <laughs> and he was like, it's too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> the fellas, my I was dying. I'm like, bro, that dude. If I, mean, I think he's the only person that can do anything, and like, will believe it just because it's him. You do realize that it's either, uh, I I think it's safe to say that our truth is the scooter dust of the WWE. <laughs> Oh, or I, I am mean, the truth of wrestling with. <laughs> that, I'm telling you, that was the funniest thing ever when he was like, it's too early. And this is the way his voice, he was like, it's too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> like he was swinging Big Mama or something. Yeah, it was, bro, it was so funny. Uh, but it was, it, it was funny as hell. And I must admit, it was just it, that probably is the best women's Royal Rumble in a while. Best fifty year old working today. Oh man, in a while. Yeah. And Bailey winning it was just the icing on the cake. Pat on the oh. back. Oh, comes the you're at you Calico. I don't know if you've seen or heard anything about what happened on SmackDown, but you're going to love it even more after watching. It is per it is perfect storytelling with how they how they do it. It I, was. It no. was. No, it, 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 it's even more on SmackDown. Because yeah. they don't waste time in revealing that they're all planning on turning on Bailey. Yeah, and then Bailey comes down. You know, you know, maybe I'll do Rhea, and maybe I'll face Rhea, and maybe it's personal. And then, and then all of a sudden, she goes off in Japanese. Knees. Yes, it was like uh, well, there was a cartoon called The Boondocks. Yes. Yes. And, and there was an episode where they were playing uh softball. Oh, kickball! It was kickball, and the girl was kind of playing on uh the heartstrings. And then she started speaking in her language, and then Huey just started speaking it, and that's what happened to me. That's exactly how that happened. Because the moment when she spoke Japanese, Io was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> like the the look on her face was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and then and Oscar was like, "Yeah, so." <laughs> <laughs> but EO was like, oh shit. <laughs> and it made it and 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 in that regard, and we're I know we're just talking about the women's Royal Rumble, but in that regard, it made the turn seem more oh. like Bailey was more hurt that they didn't see her as one of them. Which is what I told you. It was like the United Nations versus this that's <laughs> 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 I, I I saw that coming a mile away. I was like, oh yeah, she's an outcast because she's a because she's American too. Oh man, they gonna bust her ass open. Now, I mean, okay, now, so happy to be there. yeah. Now the, the the question is, do they get the wacky wailing inflatable arm flailing Bailey buddies back? And are is it is it time is it time to return? To hug life. Don't say to me I have well, emotions like Mark Scooter. It's the way that she was talking. As I, I don't know. I, I maybe it could go I, there, but I, I, my, what I would think is they would do like a whole like 
like a retrospective entrance for when the, at WrestleMania when okay, we'll give you a little bit of who's uh, up in us now to celebrate on the floor. And you know, like, well, it, yeah, it's it just it, depends on how they build her there well, from yeah. there because. And now, Oh. If they're coming at it from like she's really, really hurt and got nowhere else to go but back, I can see it going there. And I now expect a WrestleMania wide chorus of Hey, hey, Bailey. Ooh, ha! I want to know if you'll be our girl. Oh, they were trying it at the Rumble. It uh, wasn't a lack of effort. But, <laughs> Some people just didn't understand the assignment. Right. That's more of a UK thing than anything else. Mm. I, I mean, hell. Nah, when, 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 they, when they went against Asuka. You know, okay, you know, the, yeah, they've done it in NXT. Um... I mean, considering on uh, on SmackDown they had a uh, the first ever this is fucking awesome chant. <laughs> well, uh, all things aside, uh, all of the speculation aside, um, Scooter, how many stars do you give the women's Royal Rumble? I I am I am gonna do this match a service, and. Even even though I'm not I'm not gonna go you know, crazy like Dave Meltzer. Even though I kind of I me- I mentioned this to you, Jay. It's just like it put into one word. But I am I'm gonna give this my first ever six star rating. All right. Um. Uh, uh, Scooter Dust getting inspired by Uncle Dave. I don't love it. Uh. <laughs> Calico, how many stars you give this one? Yeah, we'd be stingy with these stars, but uh, but with this rumble, I think it from a women's rumble, I would give this a five, five star, cause cause it had everything. It had the the pop moments. It had the holy shit moments. It had the funny moments. It had. Um, the heartbreak in which we haven't even talked about this, live literally being so close to winning again both years, yeah, and lost both years. She's the like, next year, her and Gunther next year. Yeah. Mark my words, yeah, but yeah. L- live the, the great thing about Liv is that she still has plenty of years to go, For her NDA, which is. That? Damn! <laughs> and, you know, you know, you know what it is. And Coleco gave just great examples on this. Very rarely does a Royal Rumble tell multiple stories, let alone one, from start to finish. Right. That's what this did. There were exactly there were stories all over the place, and you could follow them. You knew oh, yeah. what was happening. This, oh, is as, yeah. this is as perfect as a Royal Rumble as there ever will be. Yeah, especially the part when, because uh, you just saw the look of distraught with Bailey because she was like, felt betrayed by Asuka and, and uh, Kyrie. Because they came out and did their thing, and you just saw the dejection. And then when they got got uh, eliminated, she's just like, "What happened to the play?" It's the way her voice said it, right? right. It was yeah. just like this little inner girl type of, "What happened to the play?" You know what I mean? It. I was like, "Holy shit!" She's she actually felt like it almost felt like she was like Simba and the Lion King with the damn <laughs> oh god, no, no, black, no, wilder, no, wilder no, beast no, out. Don't do it. No, I, I do not want to cry tonight. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it felt like because she was on her own and then she did it. And, and you know, that was awesome. And then Bianca had her story. Liv had her story. Naya had her story. Truth had his 
story. Uh, they had a pop from TNA. I mean, it just that was probably the best. One of the best Royal Rumbles in a while. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. All right, I'll, uh, since, uh, Scooter went with the six and, uh, Coleco went with the five, then I'll go with a five as well. I mean, that's the first time it, we don't give out fives like that, but yeah. <laughs> the first we time we bought, but it let alone for like a women's match. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, and you know, you know, and that's not saying anything about the yeah, women the, is the more women. about the position yeah. that they put them in. And oh. they completely outperformed the men. That's been, uh, I feel like I've been generous with stars with when it comes to the women. I don't think I've, I've been given <laughs> a five star rating as of this recording, but I, I've given a, a four and four and a half without a doubt. Man, I can tell you the last time I think a match of, of with women was like five star. I think the last match that I could definitively say was like five star that I thought was probably Bianca Sasha Bailey Sasha Iron Woman yeah ba that's uh that is the one I would say Bailey Sasha oh Bailey uh, Sasha oh, no Sarah no wait no Wait no, uh, the Iron Woman was Sasha and Becky. No, it no, it was uh Bailey. It was no the NXT one. Yeah. See, that's yeah. the one I'm talking about. The takeover. It was take takeover Brooklyn. I think it was takeover two. But there was one before it. That was uh, oh, you talking about takeover one? Brooklyn was the yeah. original, and then the next one. Oh, Brooklyn was the original, and then the next one was yeah. 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 And then may maybe I. I would put 32 in the high four and a half. 32 was a good one, too. It was. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. If you let them cook, they'll cook. It's just that I personally don't think sometimes they let them cook. I mean. I think everybody pulled everybody pulled their weight. Even Maxine Dupree, in spite of, you know, fans being very callous bastards. Well, speaking of callous bastards, um, Michael Cole gave it to um, people that are not um, too keen of Roman Reigns' schedule, as we know oh into God. the Undisputed wow. Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns defeated AJ Styles, uh, LA Knight, and Randy Orton in 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, for me personally, it was hard to get invested in the match just knowing Roman wasn't going to lose. And while Fatal 4 ways are exciting and by no means was it a bad match, um, I just felt like it was disrespectful to Roman to have a Fatal 4-Way. It devalues him and the title in the same breath to not have it one-on-one -on -one or even a triple threat. Um, but solid wrestling, maybe a little too predictable, but... Um, Do you, uh, but that was of his own doing, though. Yeah, and then... According to the storyline, it was of his own doing. And you do realize that if it was one-on-one, -on -one, uh, there would have... Uh, it most likely would have been against Randy. And Randy's return uh, would have been been halted, stalled until SummerSlam at the earliest. Uh, having Fatal Four Way keeps a cut two two favorites at least out of the Rumble, so they yeah so. It says 
at least LA Knight. It yeah. saves LA Knight because yeah. everyone thought he was going to win the Rumble, and it saves Randy yeah. because of the fact that they he could have been a favorite. So it, yeah. two birds with a stump. Yeah, and they're yeah they are <clears> on <throat> you know they're working on getting Randy to beat the record. Um, and I think it's clear that Knight wins Money in the Bank in Toronto. If if they, if anybody else steps up and proves it, I'd be very surprised. Unless that's Gunther. Well, that we um, got a long way yeah. to go for Money in yes. the Bank, but I personally, I would like to, I wouldn't like to see LA Knight win the Money in the Bank. I want to see him win the championship, not, you know, get lucky winning the championship, if that makes sense. But the problem is, is that he's so... <clears throat> the the match with Roman was the show he could hang. It wasn't for the fact... It wasn't meant to... Yeah. It wasn't meant for him to be catapulted, right? So... That... He fell off. The only way he's coming back into that picture is by winning Money in the Bank because uh, Roman doesn't is not going to take him seriously. That's and why that's it, the it's the Roman point. The it's the point of LA Knight going. Do I have your attention like, now? But that's the same rather you, you know what I mean. But I that's think the, that's the more important part aspect of it. More so than whether he wins it clean or not, because no one gave a shit that CM Punk won both titles with money in the bank, they were just happy with the goddamn win. But that's to say that Roman is actually going to be champion by uh, Gene of uh, this year. At least that's my thought process. Yeah. Uh, see, that, that's the same thinking that uh, that got uh, Jinder to the championship. It's like, what, uh, you know, and I... I do I think they could do that with L.A. Knight, where they, you know, g did they just give him the that random push? I mean, it it, it usually only works with heels, and it's pro only worked twice, and that's with J.B.L. and and Jinder Mahal. Could you really say where, that it worked with Jinder Mahal? For for what it was worth, yes. Because it, because not only did he beat Randy for the title, he retained it as well. He so did. that that's that's like that's a show of faith, um, and you know where he lost it back in you know London. You know it's. That that's gonna be the example people use if somehow L A Knight is is just somehow just just takes the opportunity, which I could you know what I could see him doing just doing that and just going up and deciding, you know. Tell everybody whose game this is and whose title match that is. Well, let's talk about the uh, the match that he was in right now at the Royal Rumble. What did you think of it? It it was it was it was good. I uh, that the whole uh, the stack the triple kick out. <laughs> I mean. That you can't ever do that again now, um, and there's a reason people don't do that uh, because eventually you're going to have so many people that some of them are not going to kick out, and then you're going to have multiple champions. <laughs> um, th this, yeah, this was. A, this was solid. It did what it had to do. Um, and, I mean, is there really anything more than you, you could say, aside from 
Michael Cole, you snarky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got one thing to tell you. If uh, if you don't like it, beat him. Just beat it. Just uh, beat it. Yeah. If you don't like it, just beat him off. Uh, with a stick. Don't talk about Tony Khan. Uh, yeah. Gotta love that hog and mouse. Yes. Oh. Four stars. Coleco? Yeah, four. Oh, just thoughts on the match in general? <clears throat> Solid match. Uh, the right person won because everybody kind of knew it was going to happen. It was just more like how. But the four-way kind of, people kind of thought, I mean, it was a sliver that The Rock costs him the title. I mean, was it going to happen? Man. But people had that hope, right? So that's why I think more people was more intrigued with the match because everybody kind of figured that The Rock was going to get in it somehow. They just didn't know how. And now since we know how, that everything that happened in that match made sense. So a four, considering the fact that the total context. I agree. Well, four stars as well. Then we have the United States Championship match. Logan Paul defeating Kevin Owens by disqualification. And how the hell did you call this, Coleco? <laughs> That's I like... mean... Barry Horowitz, pat me on the back, baby. <laughs> Shout out. Hey. That's my patriarch right there. Well, That's, my guy. That's my guy. I think it was definitely a, a creative and unique way of how they did it. Obviously, you know, the referee um got his eyes checked uh, the day prior, got that good laser surgery that he wasn't uh, excited anymore. Friggin' lens crafters. Oh, fuck those people. Uh, I'm surprised it wasn't a, a sponsored a match sponsored by Lenscrafters. <laughs> oh, oh God! If we want to talk sponsors, like C4. No. <laughs> Slim Jim pulling out. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, pull out that Slim Jim. That didn't. That did not sound right. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I it. it was an innuendo. The, the Slim Jim pull out. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured it, it's a way to, I mean, it's one of those things where it showed Logan Paul was a champion. However, I mean, he's still green, right? Like, well, that and, experience well, factor. And, and now we learned that freaking guy's name. I still don't know. I, I, I still don't give a shit about Jeff Fine. Or J Jeff Foxworthy, whoever the fuck he is, give me Jeff some Foxworthy? more. What? <laughs> <laughs> give me some more YouTubers to to come in and defend it. I want to see Markiplier step up and defend Logan Paul. I want to see Jack Septicai step up and defend Logan Paul. I want to see Matt Pat and just say it's a theory, a game theory. I think you're the only. I mean, they might as well put in a. Uh... Marcus, what's his name? Uh, Marcus uh, Brown, Mr. Beast, yeah. Preston Plays, Blippi, T -series, uh, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Rachel, uh, okay, Mark Rober. Oh, uh, God, Mark Rober. I mean, is he, is he going to teach everybody to make a, a porch pirate uh, prevention <laughs> device? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I mean, <laughs> let's just bring out all the YouTubers, right? Oh. And I think the only person that would care would be Scooter. Yes. <laughs> what, Mark Rober? Oh, no, he's the new Bill Nye the Science guy. Yeah, except he's stopped with the, uh, you know, with the, uh, the porch pirate bombs that, that, with the fart spray and the glitter. Oh, yeah. He's kind of stopped it, but. Like, oh. 
Uh, but yeah, let's bring them all. Blippi, Miss Rachel. How to basic. How to basic. Oh yeah, how to basic. New grounds. <laughs> How many schools I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pull Mr. Beast from WrestleMania. I swear to God. I don't think they could get Mr. Beast. He's way too expensive. Um, him and The Rock are, Beast are, 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 are they, they know of each other. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, like, I mean, they, they could, hell, hell, Beast could sponsor them. Pretty much. Yeah. How many stars you give Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens, Scooter? You know, it's very rare that I give uh, that I give a rating solely based on a finish, and even I didn't expect that. Like, wow, that that was original, and now you can't do it again for another seven years. But uh, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna be nice. Four stars. Kaliko. I was thinking that because the 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 because we've seen finishes that were like, eh. but this finish actually was unique. So yeah, uh, the finish alone it it told the story of the the even though it told the story of even though he's really really good, he's not. You put him in there with someone who kind of knows what they're doing, and you can see that there's levels to this, and he had to resort to that. So, therefore, four stars. And I agree completely with both of these. Um, you know, there was great psychology of the match. Um, you know, Kevin Owens has main evented the last two wrestling events. They wasn't going to prove, they, were, they wasn't going to put him against Logan Paul and say, you know, Logan Paul has a chance. They actually made it make sense for what happened to happen. And there was a moment in that match where I was like, oh shit, tell them one. And then they were like, no, he didn't. I was like, shit. And it, it popped me, and then it didn't pop me. So it was all around a very creative match, to say the least. Oh, uh, so yeah, four stars, solidly, 100%. Alright, and that brings us to the main event, the last match, the match that everybody wanted to see. Um, Cody Rhodes won the Men's Royal Rumble, last eliminating CM Punk, in one hour, eight minutes, and 25 seconds. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say that this was the greatest Royal Rumble on the men's side. Um, well, there's only a, one greatest Royal Rumble. It was a solid match. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was as interesting or as um, um, shocking as the women's. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it did what it needed to, and that was um, get Cody to win his back-to-back Royal Rumble, so, um, yeah, uh, Scootle? Yeah, I mean, we, we knew it was gonna happen, <laughs> and <laughs> you know what, you know what, it, it was, and it was still entertaining, uh, I mean, you know, the, the whole, you know, Jay and Jimmy pulling one and two, which I honestly didn't think would happen. That surprised me. Um, I I really thought they were, like, going for more of um, Shawn Michaels 1996, where Cody would enter at 18. Well, he entered at 15. Yes, he entered at 15. But eighteen was Gunther, hmm. so there was there was some thought there in terms of the number. Um, the uh, 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 Carmelo uh, being here, uh, 
one problem I had. Actually, okay, two, but uh, the first, Omos, pick a brand. <laughs> there's no, there's no reason that you have to just no. And when did Pat McAfee become such a pussy? Yeah, he lasted thirty-eight seconds. Um... Like, are you kidding? Pat, we know Pat can go. Why did why did he not? Why didn't they give him a chance to just do something? Because they wanted him on commentary more. Then you don't put the fucking commentator in the match. And yes, this was supposed to be Brock Lesnar's spot. No, Von Draco was supposed to be. Um, Brock no, Pat McAfee was got. Brock's replacement spot. No, they a uh, uh, rumor anyone though suggests that um the spot was already uh they formatted the the rumble already. Brock was um that's why Braun had such a dominant um um performance because he was in the Brock Lesnar spot. Uh, you know what I have to say to that? You fucking Mark! <laughs> <laughs> Mark <Mark-y wasn't> <laughs> uh, it's, it's the only Tony Khan soundboard I could find. It's not even Tony Khan. <laughs> um, they, they, they wanted a, 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 li- a confrontation between Brock and Braun and so many of the bees. I, I I will I will argue it until the till the last breath leaves my body. Pat McAfee took Brock Lesnar's spot. Now, for Le- Lesnar McAfee is okay. It it's probably all boring as hell. Uh, may, you know, but if anybody could make that fun. It's 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 uh, it's it's Pat. Oh yeah. Since we're not since we're not getting Lesnar and Gunther, if they if they could get Brock to come in and do a one off with McAfee, and you, you give McAfee five minutes just to get in some offense on Lesnar, and he'll make it look good, and then McAfee could get squashed. And it will be entertaining. But that's not going to happen. No. Nah. Um, uh, the last seven entrants were raw. Primarily the, the, uh, the whole match was the, the raw. entire ma- Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, in fact, the last, uh, the second half had no SmackDown entrance. No, it did not. Wow. Almost Talk about like her. people her. unassociated and um, Braun and NXT. NXT. Um, I mean, I guess that's why they're uh, <laughs> making sure everybody's affiliated. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, but apparently, hold on. If you really want some uh, some Brock Lesnar merchandise, apparently it's it's been uh, put on sale at a ninety nine percent discount. Hmm. Really? I don't know. If this is just a joke. Um, heads, heads the WWE app intensely. <laughs> like, but uh, every mention of now that I know, every mention of Lesnar has apparently been removed uh, from SuperCard. Uh, uh, 2K. Uh, 
I don't think they can actually take him out now. Um, they said that they take him out. Hey, I mean, if the if AEW couldn't take Cody out of uh, Fight Forever, <laughs> it's not ninety nine percent off. Yeah, but it is reduced. They are reducing them though. They reduced. Yeah. Uh, well, the the, oh, the plus was always twenty bucks. The country ass kicking hoodie. That's not a hoodie. Yeah, it is. that's a hoodie. It is uh, hoodie. Thirty five for that. That's a good deal, man. Not a bad hoodie. There were nineteen wrestlers from Raw in the Rumble. Mm. <laughs> and uh, wait, hold on. I I. You know me, I like to do the percentages. There was seven from SmackDown. 63% raw. Uh, twenty three percent SmackDown. How many, mm. how many unaffiliated, James? Uh, unaffiliated was three. That's one, uh, that's ten percent. Clearly. And then uh, Braun Breaker was uh, NXT. Uh, Carmelo as well. Um, uh, Carmelo was NXT. Yes, yes, you're right. Six, 6%. Uh, um, and you know what? Just for the hell of it, uh, the Women's Rumble was 3% TNA. Uh, <laughs> just that. <laughs> So, what was your thoughts on the men's Royal Rumble? Well, <clears throat> I really thought CM Punk was going to win, and I think when he tore his tricep, they called him off. Uh, Not from what I've heard, but uh, continue. I, I, I want to know if Coleco, how much of it do you think it was CM Punk actually being gassed, and how much of it was Punk playing it up for dramatic effect? I say 70% gassed, because keep in mind, he's been back since November, and he's only had two matches. That was like his third match, which... For all the shit we give Brock Lesnar, that motherfucker had more warm up matches than goddamn CM Punk in that time frame. Uh, uh, so part of it is that I think because he can go to the the performance center all you want, but it do, it won't substitute being actually in there, right? Right. And then especially in in a, a setting of the Royal Rumbles ilk. Um, where, you know, technically he could have got, he got protected a bit because he was winded, uh, but it, you still got to go out there and get it, right? I mean, kudos to him for finishing it. Like, he, the, um, the, the, would people be talking about how much he was gassed if he didn't declare that he still felt like he could go like it was 20 years ago. Well, he can say all he want, but the confidence is in the results, right? Yeah. Uh, the result is that he was, he was gassed as shit. And like if, 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 if he had said, you know, I might I might not be the same age, you know, and I may not be as fast as I once was. You know, and if you then, you know, you might you get you might be seeing a completely different CM Punk in the ring. Yes. I think a lot Yeah. A lot more safer. Yeah. In a sense. And and, and that's where it, it comes to play. I mean he he easily I mean he played the psychology well. I just think he took that spot wrong. Yeah. But 
I will say this. Um, if there were ever a motherfucker leaning to the fact that that shit happened, Drew McIntyre is playing that shit <laughs> to the death of me, yo. Right. That dude, I, I, I just love how that Bless that curse became a blessing for him. Well, because you're seeing a side of him that you would have thought you never saw. <laughs> he is Eddie oh. Pendergrass oh, they, on steroids. They they are they're they're also planting seeds for uh, Logan Paul and a Punk feud uh, down the road. As it looks to. Uh, but then again, that just might be Logan Paul wanting to be an asshole. So, uh, more likely. Or, or mm -hmm. I mean, may, maybe he was uh, doing Jack Perry cosplay. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, Punk is going to be gone. Uh, at least, well, he won't come back till around SummerSlam season. Uh, um, that, I, I, I mean, close. Will he four to six will, months? Will he be back for Berlin? Mm, Berlin? A, depends if he, if he has the surgery right now, maybe. I mean, I mean, if he's got. Come on, the the guy's got to wrestle on my birthday. Come on, come on, Phil. You gotta give me. You gotta give me my birthday present. You owe me. How do you I mean, I'm hoping he gets a speedy recovery. Senior, how many stars do you give the men's Royal Rumble, Scooter? Even though it was predictable and, you know, it, 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 it never came down to a point where, you know, the, the where the, a certain group of people in the ring you knew were not going to win it whatsoever and you were just waiting for someone to come in who had the possibility of winning it. Yeah, and I am I'm, I am gonna be a generous because I think the fact that the women's rumble gave me such goosebumps that I think my heart grew three sizes today. Um, either that or I'm about to have a heart attack. Uh, but I will I will give it I will give it four stars. Oh, I was teetering to three and a half, four. Um, didn't have all the. I will say this: it wasn't as dramatic as as the women's. Although our truth gave the comedy. <laughs> That dude's a treasure, man. Please, please don't let him go. Um, but uh, well, I mean, he's if, if rumor has it, he is gonna get a WrestleMania moment. He has to. Uh, awesome truth, Judgment Day tag team titles. The way that this is going, we could see Damian Priest versus r Truth for the w, uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship at this point. Technically, because our truth did get eliminated by Damian Priest. Yeah. Okay, and for, yeah, or if our truth ends up taking the case from him, that would be a fucking. Oh, Priest that would be. Have, Priest would have to win it back immediately, though. <laughs> I mean, it could be like a money, a, a, a money, a mini money in the bank match between them. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Our truth wants to make it up to Damian Priest. So what does he do? He takes the contract out of the case 
and replaces it with the money he got from selling Judgment Day merchandise. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and Priest thinks he's got it. And he's like, and they're like, what the hell is this? Yeah, why is it heavy? Are, are you trying to buy? Are you trying to buy a title shot? Oh my god, that would be the funniest thing ever. That would be good. Uh, but back onto the Royal Rumble. Um, oh, uh, did you say uh, your ratings? Did you give it four? I, I was teetering three and a half to four. I was. <laughs> Punk should have won. Uh, <laughs> oh, he should have won if he had the tour his shit. Uh, a, a solid four. But com- it, solid, it's a solid four, but compared to the women, it feels like a three. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying a lot, right? That is- that's. That is pretty much, yeah, that's as good as it's going to get. Um, I can like. give more. <laughs> I give it a solid four and uh, agree if um, the women wasn't, uh, yeah. Yeah, if, right. yeah, if the women wasn't there, it would be a three. If it was. <laughs> if you somehow. Are you know you come into watching this event and the women's royal rumble has already passed? <laughs> then it's a three. Yes. You're like oh, you were supposed to rem- you were supposed to call me when the when the women's rumble was coming on. I loved watching that one. I'm like, sorry. Great. Now this rumble sucks. But that was probably the best kickoff to a pay per view. That that match. Oh man! Thumbs up, thumbs up. One of the middle school. Thumbs way up. Galico. It, it's a thumbs up. So, very solid. The women's match is the match of the night. Bar none. A thumbs up for me as well. Alright, that will conclude this, uh, the coverage of uh, the Royal Rumble um, in this episode as a whole. Um, thank you for listening. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment, put on YouTube and Trackstacks. This was sponsored by Rogue Energy and Rogue, um, Rogue Energy and Claremont Coffee. Join us uh, this Tuesday as we interview Emily Lack. This Wednesday, as we interview uh, Ted Saban, um, follow the show at Wrestling with E, both on X, Dread, and Instagram at Wrestling with E for information on who we're interviewing, when we're interviewing them, links to those interviews, and so much more. Follow me personally at James J993. Where can we find Coleco? I'm Coleco on. X or what's left of X. I'm on the gram though. Progress of a perfection. And I love that bar. And where can we find Scoodle? As always, you can find me on X at Scooter Dust. Uh, I'm going to say right now that the uh, the remix is on permanent hiatus uh, for the time being. Uh, Life issues have unfortunately uh, just gotten a uh, li- little too much, and uh, that has to be put on the back burner for the time being. However, I did promise a major announcement at the beginning of this broadcast, and uh, I am happy to say that Wrestling with Entertainment has finally signed. The purple rainmaker. No, um, no. Uh, I am starting a contest. It is called Scooter Dust's What's My Profile Pick Contest. Now, for anybody who is any of my uh, followers, if you are out there, 
I have replaced my profile pic with another picture. Anybody who can tweet at me and correctly identify what it is, they will win a one-year paid subscription to Peacock. So, oh, wow. Tweet, X, whatever it is, at Scooter Dust. Go take a look at it. See if you can find it. See if you can find what it is. Reverse image. Who knows? I look forward to it. For Kaliko Yachts and Scooter Dust, I'm James J, and this has been Wrestling with Entertainment. Hey folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling with Entertainment. Enjoy the show, support these guys, we appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.